If you're wondering how big she is, this is just her hair. Also, Chibi Chibi has some sick breakdancing moves. Sailor Moon Collectibles News and Reviews. I'm happy to be back with a brand new video about my Gaka Box Sailor Cosmos 1-4 scale resin figure. It is limited to 200 pieces, and as you can see, this box is absolutely enormous. I am always impressed with the size of these. The boxes are also gorgeous. It's the gradient effect for me. But yeah, getting it out of the box was a whole process, but happy to do it because these are really awesome figures. There's a tuxedo mask on the way, as well as another chibi chibi. Why do I say another? Because obviously there's a chibi chibi here, but there's another one and she's holding Luna, Artemis, and Diana. And you'll see on all sides of the box, they really always go out with this design. It's crazy. Okay, we'll get started and we'll get this open. Um, again, lots and lots of foam to protect all of the resin pieces. So the base is down here. Her head is separate. I found that out later. And then, oh yeah, her little wing on her foot broke on the way, but it was super easy to fix. I'll show you later. Here's the stand on the bottom. You'll see which edition you have. I am lucky enough to have number two of 200, which is so, so cool. So here's the body. You'll notice a couple of things. Her thighs are a lot thicker than Eternal Sailor Moon. I like that. I like the concept that her thighs get bigger over time, but it's got this pearl finish. It's absolutely gorgeous. So far, I have actually seen no paint issues on mine, which is super rare. This was a really easy fix with Gorilla Glue, not a big deal. So we're gonna start building the figure here on the side. Ooh, it's Chibi Chibi's head. Look how bright those colors are. So they improved the skin tone on these and hopefully it'll kind of continue improving. There's always improvements with these, but wow, the stabs always impress me. They are so realistic. Oh, and here's her flap. I don't know what else to call this, but it is her flap that has all of the colors of all the senshi. I counted them, there's nine. Um, so in Sailor Cosmos's universe, something bad has happened to Chibi Yusa. Here's her hair, again, very detailed, lots of pearl, and it's got this beautiful purple sheen. Lots of fan art has purple, and oh, there's me for scale. She is a monster. Ooh, and it matches her cape. So her hair has a purple sheen, and her cape has this beautiful pearlized um, finish. It's insane. I always say that I love Sailor Moon with a cape, I feel like Sailor Moon was originally, whoa, okay, lots of cuts here. Um, that's her head, <laughs> as you could tell. She's got translucent bangs that are like a sandy blonde, and it moves into this beautiful pearly blonde. I don't know what that sticker is, but I assume it was part of the inspection in the factory. They made the head have part of that neck for support to support this, this giant, these giant pigtails. They were not intuitive. I don't know why I had so much trouble. Here's Chibi Chibi's body. She is about the same size as a Q Posket figure, but definitely far higher quality. And she's even got thicker bones. She's a, she's a chonky baby and I really like it. Uh, here's another look at it. I love the yellow. I think it's very yellow and it's very cool. I really love what they did with her wings here. It really reminds me of the manga. We're here at the three minute mark, so we're doing good on speed. I just need to adjust the camera. So now Chibi Chibi has no head, so I gotta figure this out. And figure it out, I did, slowly and carefully. Don't ask me why this gave me so much trouble. I have no idea, but I had to take it off, put it back on. There she goes, she is so cute. And then I went back to trying to put these pigtails on. The complication is that they are very close to the cape. If there are any tips on actually how to get this in, I think you might have to get the cape in at the same time as the hair. And the head kind of goes through the cape in the figure, so maybe you have to do those at the same time. I don't know, that's what I think. And there's Chibi Chibi, she's so cool. I love that she can stand like that. It's definitely not on purpose, but I love it. Okay, give me a beat. One thing about me is my name's Chibi Chibi. Not to be confused with a season two demon. This is Sailor Cosmos since she wasn't in the anime. You're gonna watch Sailor Cosmos to find out who is, wait, no wait, the movie's called uh, Sailor Moon Cosmos. Anyway, this is the certificate of authenticity. I actually like to keep it in the plastic thingy. It has my issue number, which is number two. And it just tells you a little bit about the figure. I love that it matches with the box. Here's the stand for Chibi Chibi because she can actually stand individually of Sailor Cosmo. So it's kind of like two figures in one. It's pretty neat. So let's uh, let's uh, smack her in there. This one's not too hard. Uh, I don't know why I make it look so hard. 
And oh, you have roses too to cover up the holes on either this stand or the other stand when you're not displaying it with Chibi Chibi. I think that's really awesome that it comes with it. Here are some final accessories. This is her brooch for her skirt, her little hair tendrils, and the end of her staff. Oh my gosh, I, okay, I've had this for about a week before I started editing and she is so impressive, so incredible. It's the colors for me. All right, I gotta put that shoe thing back on. This is super cute and detailed. I always like to use Gorilla Glue, I don't know why, I guess because it's orange. And now she is absolutely complete. I've had this figure for about a week and I think it is so cool. I'm not gonna tell you anything about Sailor Cosmos or Chibi Chibi here in this video. This is spoiler free. Be sure to watch Sailor Moon Cosmos. Get back to me, read the manga, I don't know. You'll figure out why I love this character so much through either of those means. Again, she is not in the classic anime, which is very interesting. Ooh, we're gonna spin it around. Yeah, dude, it's the cape for me. It's also that bright pink for Chibi Chibi. They, you know, the colors here are super bright. It's very impressive. I think that Tuxedo Mask is gonna be insane. Okay, enough spinning. Here's a preview of the new Sailor Moon collection room. Everything's in boxes except these giant ladies. Let's compare them. Remember what I said at the beginning about Sailor Moon's thighs? Look at these skinny, skinny little things. And okay, Chibiusa, we're not talking about your thighs because you are a child. But look at the upgrade. My girl ate. Oh no, wait, eight is not literal. Eight is a Gen Z term. This is what the Gaka Box figures look like from the back. They all have very impressive silhouettes. If I've used the word impressive far too many times in this video, it is because I am legitimately very happy with these figures. Do they have a lot of um, potential shipping issues? Yeah, these parts are fragile. It's a little freaky. You'll see even my eternal Sailor Moon there, I have her bow taped on. <laughs> But that's resin figures. These are, are not official. They're made by artists. You know, this is something very special and very cool that not everybody can have. So please enjoy my videos because I am... Oh, what, what, are we, what is that? Is that a body? Eternal Sailor Moon and Chibiusa were very quick to dip. All right, so here's our girl, Sailor Cosmos. I have waited for a figure of this character for, oof, my gosh, since I found out that she existed. She has a very cool appearance in the comic, and I think that you will very much enjoy learning about her in Sailor Moon Cosmos. Chibi Chibi too. you know, she's a good little baby. She could do no wrong. She is nothing like Chibi Usa. Just an absolute sweetheart. And again, the little angel wings really do it for me. You get a bit more of that different hair color uh, from this angle, especially with the light. I don't know how they did that effect with her hair, but it is insane. And then her staff with the little clear thing. No, no, no. This is just an absolute premium figure. Uh, this ran about $600, and you know what? It is totally worth it. That's how I feel about all of these. I like this far better than the Sume. Unfortunately, I had a negative experience with the Sume, and it's just so teeny tiny. I've got another video on this channel comparing the Sume art figure to a couple of these and other resin figures so you can see kind of that size difference that I'm talking about. I'll also be putting together my Chibi Yusa Gaka Box video, but not before my brand new Sailor Moon keyboard by Akko. No, it's not the same as the last one. Keep on watching to find out why. On a completely separate note, I love that Sailor Cosmos has a whole bunch of rings. That is just so much cooler than gloves. And if she had nail polish, you could see it, unlike all of the Sailor Senshi throughout the entire show. Oh, no leotard. Uh, no leotard. That is, that is all. And if you think this is one of the coolest things you'll see, um, I've got news for you. They actually just announced the Eternal Sailor Moon brooch proplica. Uh, yeah, you thought it was going to look like this, and instead it looks like this, and we have to talk about it. We definitely, definitely have to talk about it. But this 1-4 scale Sailor Cosmos is gorgeous from top to bottom and bottom to top. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I just think this is really pretty. It photographs really well. It looks even better in person. And I'll leave you with that. I'm Sailor Tortilla. Follow me on all of the things. I apparently stream now. Ugh. Well, just follow me. That'd be cool.